New Mr. Cool DIY Mini Split Won't Turn On 240V Supply Verified at Outside Unit Terminals All Electrical and Refrigerant Connections Good Initial power applied was only one phase of 240 for a few minutes. Could that have caused a problem, like blown control board fuse? What's the brand and model of your HVAC unit? How old is it? Mr. Cool 18K DIY Duckless Mini Split, brand new. How long has this been going on? What have you tried so far? Been going on since initial power applied. Tried verifying all connections and presence of 240V at outside unit terminals. Anything else we should know to help you best? Initial power was mistakenly only one phase of 240V supply on terminal L1. My name is I am happy to assist you today. Heating and air conditioning has been my specialty for 46 years, so not much I can't solve if given the opportunity. Please acknowledge each of my replies even if you are unable to perform a certain task I ask you to or if you are hoping for a different answer. Together I believe we can solve this and find the best solution for you. I am working on several projects so allow a few minutes for me to reply between our correspondence. Give me the model and outdoor and look to see if there's a little fuse on the computer board. Hi Tim, model Mr. Cool DIY 18 horsepower C230B. It's a new install and still under warranty, so I'm reluctant to start opening it to find the control board. I believe I know the answer to my original question, so I think this could be a warranty issue. I was just concerned that mistakenly using a single pole disconnect, which I am replacing with a double pole, could have caused a problem when power was applied to only one side of the 240 vac. I now realize that without a complete 240 circuit, there could not have been any current flow to the unit until both sides of 240 were connected, so no harm done. When fully connected, I do measure 120 vac from each outside unit power terminal to ground, and about 3 vac across the two 240 phases. I'll be contacting Mr. Cool for support tomorrow. It will be raining here until Tuesday, so I won't be doing anything outside until then. Thanks for your reply, but I will probably be cancelling my Just Answer account later today. I agree that just applying 120 vac should not have damaged anything. Make sure we read 240 vac between the two hot legs though. If you connect a double pole 240 v breaker to 120 legs, we should have 240 v between them. If only getting 120 v from one hot leg at panel, we would read the same 120 v on both legs as it comes through windings in unit. I've confirmed 240 vac between legs at disconnect box. When connected to unit, I only see 3 vac across legs. I'm assuming the 240 vac goes directly to a transformer primary and there is essentially no load if it's not turning on. I'm not going to disconnect from the unit and test the feed wires in the rain but I'm confident the wire connections from the unit to the disconnect box are good, especially since I'm seeing 120 vac from each leg to ground. I totally understand. Just let me know if I can assist. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.